Oh, and this is very important in reverence to. Remember that uh, time that lady crashed into my car right next to the Jewish uh, little church over there? You remember I made my video in reverence to my e-bike when I was riding over there, and and they had stalled my e-bike or it didn't work. You know, it stopped. And uh, that Cynthia Jones lady was that was that wasn't her brother that was the cop that came over on the front porch, was it? I guess one of her brothers was, or one of her relatives was a cop in Indianapolis. I'm not sure if that was her, but he was real tall, I guess. And he tried to run me over with his squad car at the time of the accident where she had crashed into my vehicle. And I had like an injured shoulder and a, and the swoopy S-W-O-P-E law office was in the, on the north part of Indiana, like, I don't know, Lafayette or something. They were like the law office. And, you know, I was not at fault. And I called him one time or something. I spoke to him. I was like, you know, hey, I haven't heard. And, but that court case took like three years or something. Never received a penny. And she crashed right into me. She ran the light and crashed into my van. And I called the law office. And I was not at fault. But I called, like, the law office. And I said, uh, you know, what's going on with the court case? And she, she said something like, and then she hung up the phone on me. She said, uh, oh, you don't owe anything. Goodbye. And she hung up the phone on me. And I was like, wait a minute. I lost time and and uh, work at the time and basic information of some things. And, you know, they damaged my vehicle. And, you know, I had like, what, waited like three years and, didn't receive nothing. Can uh, maybe somebody look to see what the rulings was on that car accident to see if the attorney stole the monies or what? Because I've never received nothing. But she was like, oh, you didn't know anything. And then she goes, okay, you don't know anything. Goodbye. And she hung up the phone. And that was like the last I ever heard of the, heard from them, you know. And I was working at Amazon at the time, wasn't I? Yeah. Something like that. But anyways, or I started working there, whatever it was. So anyways, uh somebody look up that information and see how that see if I was supposed to have received any monies from that car accident when that lady crashed into me. And she was driving a Ford, uh one of those SUVs. And I had my Chrysler minivan. So, you know, I've not received any information in reference to it at all or in reference to it. She said, you don't know anything. Goodbye. And I was the victim. And, you know, there was a guy in California that where this girl ran up and kicked me. And I was working at Mel's Drive-In. And I was like, you know, this cop called me or some some man called me on my phone at my apartment. And he said, because uh, they were doing an investigation on this girl that ran up and kicked me in the leg or something. And she was like, and I was like, who the hell is that, you know? And uh, and she ran up and kicked me and then ran off. I didn't even know who the fuck it was, you know? And uh, and then this cop called me at my apartment at 7513 Fountain and Gardner, you know? And uh, and he goes, oh, uh, if you're if you're wanting to to press charges, uh, you won't you won't get no money from anybody beating you or hurting you there or uh, there's no way you can get money there's no way you can get money for the for your injury or uh, the incident you know this guy in California said this to me called me on the phone and said I couldn't get any money or compensation for this girl kicking me there's a group of people that have done these things that have been stealing lawsuit monies and monies I was supposed to have received in reverence to people abusing me. And there's a man that's stealing. Him. There's, a, there's like an organization of these people that are doing these things. Does anybody know who they are? Obviously, they're tied in with the postal thieves or something, these people. I don't know. Somebody needs to do something in the courts and find out what's going on. I haven't received any of the lawsuit monies from California, 
you know, when I got kidnapped from California, uh, you know, this is just total obstruction of justice in every way in reference to every situation. It's attempted murder every day and financial crimes against people that have abused me and then tried to get away with it, you know, and financial fraud of people injuring me and then them covering it up or something you know lots of things of importance hello friendly people